through here, so I'll pack my bag. Got the Zeiss 35 in here. This is the Sigma MC11. It's got like a little back separator down here and then down there. That's my 70-200 f4 lens. Very nice little lens. Everything's nice and neat. Probably put the camera body over here and then have... Maybe I should bring a gimbal. Hmm. Nah. I don't, I don't think I'll bring a gimbal. Maybe maybe next time. Love this bag, by the way. I'm just gonna bring one SD card because I'm only really gonna be shooting stills in 1080p. And I think, and maybe a portable light. That, that, that'll be about it. The next time you see me will be with me, will be me at Marina Bay, trying to shoot some photos. Marina Bay Sands is a shooting location. Wonderful futuristic city vibes and great views from the sky park. It's an awesome place to be in and an awesome place to shoot in. I'll be shooting with the Sony a7 III, the Sony 28mm f2 and of course the Zeiss 35mm f2.8 general lens. And damn, is this lens good. I'll be shooting with my friend, her name is Sophia. And she'll be the model for the day, so thank her if you like what you see. And there will be sample photos at the end of the video. This lens is awesome. The build quality is wonderful and the design is stunning. Chrome body, chrome aesthetics. I know you hipsters love it and I do too. Maybe I am a hipster, but who knows? It's a wonderful little lens in terms of design and I absolutely love it. But apart from that, how does it shoot? Well, you're gonna need an adapter to use it with any sort of modern camera and it doesn't have stabilization or autofocus. So you're gonna be using a gimbal or using slow-mo like I did and you're gonna be manual focusing. But once you nail that manual focus, it is pretty damn impressive. F2.8 isn't the fastest lens, it isn't the widest aperture, but goddamn, does it give good bokeh. Good blurry background, even at F2.8 and I absolutely love it. Like seriously, check this out. Sure, at f2.8 it does lack a bit of sharpness and it has very very low contrast but once you color grade it, it looks wonderful so there's no problem there. And honestly, I'm perfectly okay with how it looks even without color grading. I think contrast is rather overrated. But hey, if you are a sharpness whore, stop the lens down to f4, f5.6. That will make it much, much more sharper, even at the corners. But I would say just use it for center sharpness because seriously, this is not a lens that you should expect much sharpness from. It's an old film lens, old coatings. Deal with it and embrace it. And I do. I love 35mm. It's great for portraits and it's great for video. It's easy to focus with and it's just so fun to shoot. The Carl Zeiss Jenna 35 can be had for a very cheap price on eBay. A hundred plus dollars and with a cheap adapter you can use it with your Sony camera or whatever camera you're using to have a lot of fun with it like I did with this lens. Carl Zeiss Jenna 35mm f2.8 gets my recommendation and this review is pretty much done. Alright, I'm gonna head out. See you soon. Here's some sample images so that you can see how the image looks.